Ivory Coast has launched a new cost-effective method to monitor its vast power installations. This is by the use of drones, spearheaded by the National Electricity Company, a subsidiary of the Franco-African group, Aranov, which has opened a drone academy in Abidjan. We have about 25,000 kilometers of high voltage lines and we have a lot of problems with the vegetation. So we have to control it all the time and it's very, very hard because it's really spread all over the country. So at a vegetation level and at equipment level, we use a kind of artificial intelligence that will automatically analyze the images to detect every conceivable possible defect, a rusty bolt, a broken cable. The aim is to train about 20 local pilots to inspect power lines for the 1.3 million Ivorian subscribers and power exports to neighboring countries such as Ghana, Togo, Benin, Burkina Faso and Mali. The UAVs will allow us to inspect our structures, ensure their safety in a much better way than in the past and also optimize our monitoring and inspection costs. This is very important for us but also the school will open up to the outside world because we not only work for ourselves but also think of others. The trainees are not only shown how to assemble, fly and repair the drones, but also learn numerous software packages for image data analysis, geolocation and mapping. Yeah. I really enjoyed the training with everything we learned about software and also how to fly a drone. Morton and I already know how to mount a drone. It's really something extraordinary. It makes me want to continue in this field, which I really like. It's my kind of passion. Ivory Coast has heavily invested in rebuilding its power grid since the end of civil war in 2011 and authorities plan to invest another 16 billion euros in the sector by 2030.